You're listening to Glove Up or Shut Up on the Angry Marks Podcast Network. All right, well, moving on to the show in Sweden on uh, Fox, UFC on Fox 14 in Stockholm. Interesting prelims here. Uh, one of the fight night prelims is Chris Beal against Neil Siri. Interesting, that's the first fight on the prelims, but whatever. Makwan Amir Khani against Andy Ogle. Uh, Kenny Robertson against Sultan Aliyev. Nico Muskok against Albert... Musoki. Musoki. Damn. Nico Muskoki against Albert Timonov. Let's go to the main card, Stevie, where a lot of people would pay more attention to, uh, cause with, you know, prelims outside of North America, the prelims are mostly of the local fighters. You're right, yeah. So there's so, guys from Sweden and Europe all over that card. Uh, Akiri Khorasani against Sam Cecilia. Yeah, it's kind Which, of a pick em fight. I wonder, Khorasani's gotta be jacked up for that fight though. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. I, I can't we, really call it at this point. What? We did, we missed the, um, I just remember we missed, uh, something about happened in Boston there. What did they we announced miss? a fight during the show with, uh, Errol Hawani. Which fight was that? I've already forgotten. Chad Money Mendez against, um, was it Ricardo Lamas? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess they did announce that at some point. And it's gonna be at one, the main card starts at one in the afternoon for that fight. Yep. So an afternoon UFC show, so that's pretty cool. We'll get more details on that down the road, but they made the main event, and they made sure to say, here's the main event, and the main card starts at 1. But back to Akira Khorasani and Sam Cecilia. I mean, we we got Cecilia, who lost his last fight via rear naked choke in Japan, yeah. and he's been out of action for a few months, so he, he wants to make a big comeback. And then we've got Khorasani, who... Uh, has lost two in a row to Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Max Holloway. I don't know if it's quite reached the level of loser leaves town, but... No, no, not there yet. Not there yet, but both of these guys are in a little bit of trouble at this point. Yeah. This is the fight I really want to see, Ryan Bader against Bill Davis. Yeah, it's kind of the show stealer, because both of these guys are, are top ten light heavyweights that are looking to make their way to a title shot. And, uh, you know, Bader, he gets accused of being a boring wrestler, but at the same time, you you look at the size and the strength of Bader, and uh, you look at the wrestling skills he can bring into the fight with that, and uh, the only guys who are going to beat him are guys that can rock him very early on in a fight. You know, if, if you don't get him out of there early, he's just going to manhandle you. He's that kind of dude. And Phil Davis, well, he's also a wrestler and very strong at it, but he will surprise people every once in a while with a big anaconda choke or a TKO. You know, you can't count him out for getting a surprising win that just when you think you're going to go in there and wrestle with him, he'll pull something out of his bag of tricks. Do you think the winner gets DC? Um, maybe. I think John Jones needs some more personal time before he gets back in the octagon. Yeah, I would say so. So I think the winner gets DC, and the winner of that gets the next shot of Jones. Oh, wait, no, Gustin gets the next shot of Jones. This would basically be... Unless Jones ducks him again. Oh, yeah, he's never done that before. Mm-hmm. Dan Henderson against Gerard Musasi. Um Man, Henderson... If he takes the L here, he should probably hang it up. If he gets the W here, what do you do with him? Well, if he gets the W, then you let him keep fighting, but I'm I'm not so sure about that. I, it's I, almost, I, if you want to use a pro wrestling analogy, it's sort of like the whole one more match, one more match. Yeah, well, I, I think we're reaching the point where he's had too many one more matches. and. Mm. And I don't want to take anything away from Dan Henderson because I have all the respect for him in the world and seen him do things that no man should be able to do, like win two titles and pride at the same time. But yeah. it's time is not favoring him. Father Time is catching up to him here. Now, you know, if you don't agree that Dan Henderson doesn't belong in the uh, in the UFC Hall of Fame, I got lots of DVDs for you to watch. Indeed, he belongs in every Hall of Fame. Oof. Main event time, Alexander Gustafson against Anthony Rumble Johnson, and this fight, 
You know, if, if Johnson wins here, it'd be very interesting, but if the Mahler wins here, he basically cements the number one spot in the light heavyweight division. Yeah, the guy with more to lose is Alexander Gustafson because he's taking this fight simply because he can't get Jones to fight him in the rematch and he needs something to do, whereas Rumble has absolutely nothing to lose. If he goes in there, knocks off the top dog, he becomes the top dog. Sort of like uh, when people were talking about the Colts and the Patriots, how the Colts are playing with house money. Yeah, you could have said that, yeah. And uh, Colts needed to figure out something other than uh, betting it all on luck. 